Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and I have some happy mail and some acquisitions to show you. And um, my acquisitions are not yarn related, but they're yarn room related. So first off, I'll start with that. I got myself a lampshade and um, they had this up in the shop and it did kind of look kind of nice really. And um, it looks a bit crocheted. I know it's not, it's just sort of a fret work kind of lace, but it does actually look from a distance like it's been crocheted. Not an expensive one, but this is just a little tiny room. And this is called Alexia. I'm glad I'm not in the same room as Alexa because she would have gone into field drive over that. So yeah, I've got myself a little lampshade and we'll see what that looks like. And I've got a feeling that once it's up, all the little lights will come out of those holes and look kind of cute so um the other thing that i bought was and i've been wanting to get this for a while i did buy the spray paint to do the feet of my stall but i bought this paint instead which i can still do the spray but then i can go over it in this stuff which is very very gold glitter so um, it looks like it's hardly anything in the... <laughs> looks like it's finished, doesn't it? But it isn't. It's got loads in it. It's just um, same make as the others, which is Craig and Rose um, Artisan Paints. Now, I like these paints. They are kind of cool. So um, they do a lacquer to make it shiny, but that's rather expensive. I don't know if the, the lacquer's Craig and Rose or not. But I did say I would look to see if I could find one online. But yeah, that's really a bit of an extravagance just for the little tiny tips on the very ends of my stall legs. But I've got a little pot now with all of my little paints in. And I dare say there'll be more things that are going to be blinged and um, renovated or vajazzled, as we say. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be informed when there's new videos. Um, got live streams and all sorts of things, so just hit that button. And um, also there's a giveaway going on at the moment. It's for my 5K. I've just reached 5K, so um, I've put up a giveaway for that. So that might be worth a watch, but you do need to be a subscriber to enter. So the other thing that I got was some happy mail. And I'm just going to hide the address. It came this morning well sort of a early afternoon and it's from julie gunn it says stitch in time so i'm not going to say anymore because um that's her address there but it feels like squishies it feels like squishies so i'm gonna um, attack this with a pair of scissors i've got a little loop part here that if i cut it there i should be fine and not in danger of um getting anything vital lots of tape on it so um i couldn't really um try opening it by going through the tape because there was just quite a lot but that's not a bad thing because then it's nice and safe so inside there are a few little bags Ooh. And there's more than just wow i'm going to show you this in a second so i've got a little card inside we'll start with a card because you know when i was young and i ever had christmas or a birthday I never ever started with the card and people would say i'm gonna read your cards and i'd be like Psh! card but no we will start with a card oh it's very pretty they say therapy can help us deal with aging <laughs> that is just so me it's very sparkly very me so i won't i won't embarrass her and read it out ah uh, well i'm sure i'm going to enjoy them thank you julie so let's see in this tiny well it's not really tiny but it's it's a medium sized kind of package she packed loads there's lots of stuff. So I've got this little bag of goodies. So we start with that. And inside, let's see, she's been a, she's a master at actually packing stuff. So we've got some crochet hooks here. 
and these are boys aha she sent me some boys because i have been saying i've never used a boy so there we go i've got a little pack with three and this one oh wow isn't that amazing thank you so much and they've got the, they've got the letters on because they're from across a very big pond oh lovely thank you so much i'm really going to enjoy trying these ones i've always wanted to try boys because everybody would say you know i like boys and that sounds wrong but you know what i mean so thank you so much for that and oh i've got some some buttons and a little leather tag to put on something wow thank you that is very cool and some stitch markers which again very cool and this one this is bling your string <laughs> bling your string i'll have to open this one and show you and it's really pretty look isn't that lovely isn't that gorgeous sort of stitch markers it's got this lovely little bauble what's on there wow it's a lovely bead and there's two on there they're kind of lovely aren't they bling your string oh, they're beautiful thank you very much wow i'm spoiled and then we've got another little package here which look like teas mm, look like teas so let's get in didn't want to get me in but it what's that <laughs> i like this it's got a little mickey mouse on it it's kind of cute so we've got lipton's green tea with orange passion fruit and jasmine and then oh wow breathe easy breathe easy I, my pen friend's husband was hooked on breathe easy tea and he used to set well she used to send me loads of it but um it had ephedrine in it back then i don't know if it still does but <laughs> he, no wonder he liked it so much he was used to be buzzing everywhere so um again another green tea with orange passion fruit and jasmine i've got three of those and a couple of breathe easies because i actually really enjoyed these breathe easies don't know if it's the same if it's this yeah i think it is traditional medicinal i think it is i'm not absolutely sure the same brand but I'm going, to, I'm going to enjoy that because i used to love breathe easy i got i developed quite a taste for it back in the 80s so what have we got here now do you remember i had this little ball of kobu and i loved it so much it was blue well she sent me some kobu look at that and i'm oh, i love it and darker blue i've got two of this darker blue and i've got specks around here somewhere to take them out i probably took them in the other room so my eyes are really worthless at this precise moment in time but oh there's 232 yards 212 meters 100 grams isn't it amazing how this little thing is 100 grams it is i wish they'd all wind them all like that just think how much i'd get on the shelves it's fantastic i love it and i love the way it's <laughs> oh <laughs> it always cracks me up when it's like endorsed by knitted knockers i love that so it's a three weight so a dk so a hundred gram cake against look this is how we get it 100 gram ball look how much i'd get on the shelves if they all did this i just have to tell them but they lovely colors so um let me see if i can read the color steel blue i love that blue i'm a bit of a blue aholic i do love my blues and this is uh called lichen that's lovely isn't it so yeah i shall definitely be using these because i had one lonely lonely little ball of kobu it should be around here somewhere somewhere around here and then there's this one so this i like cute little bag that it's in this one's kind of furry Ooh. So this is Red Heart, now I'm not going to pronounce this, oh hang on, Huga. It's got a like, little thing at the bottom because it's H-Y-G-G-E. So who would have thought that that would be Huga? But look at that, isn't that yummy? Wow, it's gorgeous. It's so soft. I love it. It's beautiful. 
really really love this so this is 141 grams so soft 132 yards 121 meters and a five weight so bulky five and plum candy but that's beautiful isn't it look at that it's gorgeous colors and it's just so soft wow and smells amazing <laughs> just that yarn smell that when it first comes out oh, I could just bottle that really i'm not sure that most people would love us smelling like it but i'd definitely be spraying it all over the place smell of new yarn isn't that lovely of her oh wow so i'm i'm so amazed really thank you very much such a lovely happy mail and um really don't know what to say wow that is all these lovely things just, i really love this it's so cute i'm definitely going to be using these definitely and boys i should try some boys do i sound excited tapered throat anodized aluminium crochet hook set tapered throat i guess this is the throat of a hook wow thank you very much i i love it and i appreciate it so much and um you're just such a so stitch in time julie gun thank you thank you so much wow blown away love it so uh <sighs> i'm gonna just oh i just wish i had loads and loads and loads and loads i just dive in you know if you could just have it all along like and just leap onto it <laughs> you know what i mean my son always had this vision that he would like to sort of put thousands and thousands of or millions of pounds on the bed you know money and then just dive onto the bed onto the money well i've got that same fantasy but it's <laughs> it's my money look at this so it's just gorgeous so soft really it's amazingly soft well i'm very jealous of the yarns that you get over there with red heart i've got a little bit of red heart but not very much but this is just to die for beautiful and such a lovely color i'm really blown away thank you so much so um thank you for watching um beautiful and i love these these are just gorgeous little yarns I, I do love kobu so yeah thank you thank you so much thank you for watching bye for now everyone take care